Hello there. This is Cheryl Lentz, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, winging it on Wednesday. Woohoo! We're going to open up the ice cream corner monkey cut kit today. So, hoping um, I'll have some people join me. You join me, let me know that you're here. Wave, let me know. Um, if you're joining me later and watching on YouTube, subscribe to my channel. Hello, Chris. Subscribe to my channel and then you won't miss any when I'm um, coming on. So I do a little video on Tuesday, on Wednesday, and we follow up on Friday. So um, usually Friday is something that I've started on Tuesday or Wednesday and I need to get it finished <laughs> and show you some additional, some additional things. So the ice cream corner um, monkey cut kit, I will turn it around. Um, and show you where what all that includes. So we're gonna open it up and play with it today. So that'll be fun. Um, it includes a pack of the designer paper. It includes a package of these fun sprinkles that are so fun. Uh, two yards of the beautiful, beautiful um, uh, Blackberry Bliss ribbon. Love that ribbon, gorgeous ribbon. Um, they have cardstock to each of 11 colors. So in the catalog, um, it's in the, the mini catalog, they suggest five colors, but the paper is so beautiful and it has so many other additional colors that, for you to play with. I have an itchy nose. What does that mean? Kiss a fool? Oh, I wish it was my itchy hand. <laughs> Anyhow, and then it, you have uh, white, of course, white cardstock. Um, and then 10 envelopes, a half a pack of the foam adhesive strips, and some assorted punch labels. So if you're on the go, you can have the stamp set and um, just kind of go with that. You don't need to have any other punches, so it'll be for adding um, some of the verses on and that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and turn the camera around. Let's see there. Let's do this. You're going to go for a little ride. Choo, choo, choo. I feel like I'm the conductor. Going for a little ride, seeing my messy desk. Let me move this here for a minute so I can get this centered and maybe have it a little bit bigger for you. There we go. Okay, whoopsie daisy. I try to get it as low as I can because I know um, when I'm up here talking into the camera, it's loud and when I sit down, it's not as loud even though I'm, I'm kind of a loud person. <laughs> So I'll try to do better. So, okay, I was going to open this up and show you. So here on page 48 and 49, you can see the ice cream corner suite. Lots of fun things, lots of wonderful colors. Um, this bundle you can get, and if you want to buy it today, there's free shipping on anything over $50. This bundle comes with the stamp set and a punch. So lots of fun. So we can do that, and let's see here. Um, the sprinkles, the ribbon, oh, the paper, oh la la, I can go on and on. Let's go ahead and open it and, and start playing. So here's here's the my little ingredient card for our monkey cut kit, and here it is, ta-da. Now they didn't put the sprinkles in mine because they already knew I had sprinkles. Yours would have a whole package of sprinkles in here. So let's open it up. Break the seal here. There we go. Okay. Wow, they did a good job. I can't even open it. <laughs> okay, there. I'm going to fold that back down so I don't catch any of the paper on it. It's coming out to attack me here. So you get um, one sheet of the um, label, the foam strips. So that's kind of fun if you want to do shaker cards with the fun sprinkles. So love that idea. Here's all my cardstock. Look at this rainbow of cardstock here. So many pretty colors. Um, this paper just goes with so much. Really fun. I'm pulling it out just a little at a time here and then I'll spread it out for you. So the terracotta tile. Uh, bumblebee I mean they have they have lots of extra colors in here for you so come on here we go okay almost done 
<laughs> there, look at all the pretty colors. Look at all the pretty colors. Ta-da. So all those are, this is all card bases. And then we'll have matching um, layering, layers, mats. So let me pull this out. There we go. Put that up here. Whoa, and it's flying off the shelf. Here we go. So here's my, those are my bases. Open up my treasure treasure chest and all these good things. Again, all these little pieces that I love to use are in here, matching with the cardstock of the bases and the mats. So I always kind of put those off to the side and then I just pull them out as I, as I want to use them. There we go. And then we have all this nice cardstock cut. So see this, so I talk about this, you have it cut both ways. So if you have a directional pattern, they will cut one sheet one way, one the other way. So that you have both, depending on um, what you're planning for your card. So that's kind of a nice thing to keep in mind. There we go, here's all of our pieces of cardstock again. See this? So they're cut both ways landscape and horizontal for you for your convenience we thought that would work out nicely they have you know the famous guts for the inside of the card or the outside however you're using it here's all my mats that match all of my bases and then envelopes and then here's all the a lot of these little punches punched out tags so different shapes kind of fun so that you can use that on the go for your verses and here's um what is it two yards of this blackberry bliss ribbon which is so pretty so i don't know where to start today i think we'll start with um we'll start so anyhow all of that good stuff including the sprinkles is 45 dollars so you can go to stampingjourney.com if you would like to order one up. We would be happy to get this in your hands so you can create what I'm creating here today. Um, and then know that on the website, I have lots of um, cards that I put on there. So any of the cards that are on there, you can use those layouts. I usually start with a pattern here. You can use any of those layouts um, for your... Uh, for your to use with your monkey cut kits so I don't know what we want to do so even the stripe horizontal and vertical so um, let's turn it over I have to start out with something I have tended to go to the greens I guess I like mint ice cream <laughs> so I've tended to do that use a lot of the greenery the green stuff I have some out because I'm working on a I'm working on a project right now with uh, I kind of like those colors those that print together. I'm working on a kit to go with this set. I love these blotchy things. So if you're doing the ice cream, you can use this this blotchy stuff to punch out your ice cream with the punch, so it would match the colors on there on your paper here. And maybe we'll do that. I don't know. And then they have ice cream cones. They have the cook, cookie cones and the regular ice cream cones with the swirl, little swirl. So let's start out with these two pieces right now, I think. I think that's what I want. So kind of interesting. And then for a base, let's see here. What color do I want on here? I love that. I love this Blackberry Bliss. So dark and pretty. If I want the green, let's see here. Peachy color. <laughs> oh, how about, how about this? How about if we go a little bit different, a little out of the box? 
and instead of just matchy matchy what if we would go with this so that's kind of an accent on here that would be cut like that for this one I'll probably be cutting it cutting it up a little bit so I would have a border all the way around is what I'm thinking I'm thinking that blue just because I'm wishing our skies were blue here today maybe that's why and then bringing the blackberry bliss in here look at how that pops that up and the blue looks so like ooh, so pretty there we go maybe we're gonna do that and we have a number of different verses and different things we can punch out but I think if we do Maybe we'll do a ice cream cone up there and put something down here. Um, a verse. I'll have to look and see what I have, what I want to do here. I like the pointy, so I'm thinking that for probably for the verse I want to use uh, this one. So that I'm kind of mimicking that shape. It's kind of fun. What do you think about that? And... So on this one, we're going to have to cut it. I'm going to bring my trimmer here, and I'm going to trim that up, and I'll have those extra pieces to use somewhere else. But I think we're going to, we're going to trim it up a little today. There we go. I'm going to move all this good stuff around. Here's the set, the sweet ice cream set. So it has popsicles, top and bottom. And these two you can actually put together. They're kind of interesting. And it has the, the lines for your cones, for the cone. And then even for the stick, there's a little wood, wood lines. And here's the drip. So if your ice cream is dripping, here's the drip. <laughs> here's the drip for your ice cream. Kind of fun. All right. I want to cut these. And I'm a, I like to measure. I know some people, you know, would just kind of cut it off, but... I have a thing about that. I have to measure everything. So I'm going to cut these and put them together. And I'm going to cut this at five inches, I think. We're going to cut this at five inches. Ta da! Just whack it right off there. Okay. Now, I only want to use a piece of this. So I'm going to cut some of this off so I can use one piece. I'm going to use one piece on the inside and one piece on the outside. So I'm going to do just a little stripe from the inside because I think that adds so much interest. So that's going to go inside my card. And I'm going to cut this again. There we go. And just put that off to the side. And then I'm going to use this one here. So I have gluing room. I have room to glue. Okay. So here's this, here's this, pretty basic, right? But it's fun to play with the different colors. I really like that, uh, I like the blue under there to pull that out. We could check out and see what it looks like and the green, but that's what I told you, I keep going to this green. So I kind of like to do something a little different. So if I put the soft sea foam put that on I don't know it just sort of blends in I think the blue pops it better even though the green matches with that we're gonna go back and do this blue I like the contrast between the blackberry bliss and the pool party I think that's pool party there we go Ta -da. and I just want a little stripe on there and then I'm going to pull this out I might have to kind of put something on the edges of that and I think that we could make a cone here with that blotchy stuff here I'm going to use this paper for my cone I'm just going to punch it and then I'm going to punch Let's see here. 
That's kind of interesting. Maybe we'll use that one, and then we'll use one of these. So we have, we could we could stack it up here, and have a ice cream right here. I think. Hmm. And maybe we we're going to have to put something behind. Um, thinking, we might have to put something behind this one to make it stand out a little bit more. I don't know. No, nope, I don't like that. I'm taking that away. Maybe I just need a Blackberry Bliss. And I could, could take it all the way across and have that on here like that. Or maybe we need the ribbon there. Yeah, yeah. I'll just keep switching it out. But I am going to use Blackberry Bliss for the words. It'll be matchy matchy for my um, oopsie daisy. I'm going to use the Blackberry Bliss for the words and I think we're going to try to use something that fits on there. How about you melt my heart? Oh, that's so cute. You melt my heart. Do I have it out here? No, it's in here. When I take mine, my stamps off, so I have this sheet, I always put this back in my case so I don't lose it. I can't tell you. I lost a couple, and now that is my rule of thumb. I try to put that right back into the case so that I'm not searching for that because I like to have that protective cover left on there. And here we go. We're going to... Put this on here. You melt my heart. So cute. And that can go on there. Okay. Let's do a little stamping. There we go. Again, I line up. I'm a liner upper. I line up everything here. We'll put this on just like that. Ta da. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. So when I have a little um, angle like this, where I want just a strip of it, I could cut it smaller, but I'm not going to. But look, I have new glue today. Woohoo, Lisa, new glue. I know I have three over here, but I would be shaking them down. And I don't like to waste time shaking them down when I'm trying to trying to show you guys this. So here we go, a little bit here. All right. And then what I'm doing is lining up on my grid so that I get front and bottom lined up here, top and bottom, and push it down just a little because I'm up a little bit there. Okay, there, ta-da. So you get just a nice little a little bit of stripe on there. And then this will go here. And then we're going to glue that down. And I think I'm going to put, I think I have this over too far. I need to pull it in a little bit there. I think I'm going to glue this down and then we'll put some ribbon here and tie it. So let's get that glued down, get our pieces out of the way. There we go. So I was playing, um, yeah, we're going to have a, a card kit. So a monkey cut card kit is just like if you're coming to class. You would have everything cut and ready to go. I'll have a video on how you put it together. And um, it's two of each of four cards. I'm going to pull this out here. Look at this ribbon. It has like a stripe in it. And it's sheer so being sheer and light like that it is so I'm just straightening it out a little bit here it's so pretty and it ties nice bows in this case I'm gonna save a little ribbon and just tie a knot because it's showy anyhow so I want the knot to be over here which doesn't matter where I'm going because I can bend the cardstock and move it around we've shown that so I'm gonna cut this off if I can find my paper snips, here we go. Ta-da. There we go. Put that over on the side. 
and I'm going to tie a nice little knot here. So I go straight across like that, put my finger down, move that over. Top one does all the work. I'm going to sneak around the bottom one and push it through, holding the knot down with my finger. There we go. Ta-da. And you get that nice flat on the top, which is what I want. On this one, it's you can't tell quite so much, but that's okay. I know that it's that way. There. I gotta cut that so it's even. A little less, a little more, a little more. There we go. Even Steven, there. Okay, and then that's gonna go on here. And then we're gonna put this on here and melt my heart and we'll pop that up. So that'll be showy enough there. I like that. And let's put an ice cream cone there. So here is the punch. Now, um, we did this, uh, where we created a punch, um, a template for punching. On this case, I don't have that. I'm just gonna kind of fussy because I'm lining this up where I want it. So look at that. That way I get both colors, <laughs> the green and the blue. Blue moon, there we go. There, I like that. And then I wanna use it. Sorry, sorry I used you. I want to get some of this uh, this dark, the raspberry color here. And I'm going to punch it this way. I'm going to get the raspberry color in here. And I'm going to have a whole cone. The cone is going to be this stripe, but that's okay. Maybe I'll use that as a, um, a different pattern later. But then I'm not wasting that little bit either. So we'll put that aside to be used on a later project. And I'm gonna stack these. We'll stack it, decide which way we wanna stack them. Should we put one more? Cause they have three on here. So let's cut this. Whoops, look out now. There we go. And we're gonna get this other color in here too. So I'm mixing and matching and getting some other colors in there. Ta-da, okay. Set that aside, we'll play with that later, little pieces. All these little baby pieces I have all over. Okay, and my cone. Last but not least, and I could stamp this cone. Well, maybe I should do that and punch it. Maybe I will stamp it. I'll stamp it and save the sheet of uh, designer paper. So I am stamping this in cinnamon cider. That matches up with the cone on here. So I have this extra, will this fit in here? Let's just see. Let me see if I can fit my scrap paper. If it's big enough to fit in, and it is. So if I put that just right, I can use the scraps to stamp my cone. So here we go. I'm just kind of looking at the punch when I'm stamping it. I want to look at the punch and I'm going to stamp off on this so it's a little bit lighter because I want to use that cross hatch too. And then I'm just going to put it at an angle like this. There. Ta da! And then here's the, the little cross hatch, and that'll go full strength on the cinnamon cider. Let me put that like that. There we go. Okay. And then we can punch it with our scrap here. Ta-da! There. Then look at, no waste. No waste, literally no waste. That's so good. Okay, let's line this stuff up and see what we're, what we're coming up with here. That's what I do. It's a lot of putzing, right? Put, put it together, see what you think. Put it together again, see what you think. Light and dark. Let's see here. They put it over the top, over the top, over the top. And did three layers like that. Maybe we need to have that one out there. This one down here. I guess my little one gets lost in the middle, doesn't it? 
my blue green one kind of gets lost on the blue so maybe we won't even use that one maybe we'll use these two have the dark here have this one up here since we're featuring the blackberry bliss anyhow and i want to have it off on an angle where i think we're going to straighten it out here just like that Ta -da, ta -da. there and then we'll pop that up well, that's kind of cute i think we're going to pull this down a little bit so to pull it down i'm just going to bend the cardstock and pull this down a little bit see if that still fits with my verse here okay we're gonna go up just a smidgen a smidgen that's a measurement right a smidgen a smidge here a smidge there there we go okay and that's gonna go on right here and then my we're gonna oh my light just got brighter I hope that doesn't mean it's going out and then these are gonna go just like this this one's gonna go here it just fits nicely in that little alcove here that we have there like that there we go and go up a little further even move this up a little what I'm doing is kind of looking to see how if I'm kind of balanced in here there we go maybe I don't like that color Maybe I should have a lighter color, sort of like that one. Maybe I'm fickle. <laughs> kind of look, I mean, it looks like that, but maybe I want it more purpley. Maybe it should look like this and just have a little bit of purple on it. Let's try this one. See if we like this cone, this flavor better. Because if this one is a little bit lighter, this can go here, this one can go here, this one, there. I like that better, I think. And that's going to pop up a little bit more, like that. There. Ta-da. What do you think? Or do you think I should bring in the green? But it got lost on the blue. So I think we're going to go with these colors that are different, a little bit bolder. And perhaps on this one, we're going to put some sprinkles. See all these little dots and sprinkles? They have a little, they have some little dots and sprinkles like that. And maybe that's what I need to do is add. Maybe I, maybe I will like that better. Just add a little bit with the Blackberry Bliss on that color. I have a huge block for this. I don't know why. So I'm just um, putting a little bit of Blackberry Bliss on here. And we're just going to sprinkle this one. That'll make it show up a little more, too. There we go. Okay. So to put your cones together, let me first glue this. I'm going to just glue this down. This is, this is a good spot, I think, for my ribbon. And because it's so thin, um, sometimes when I have a thicker ribbon, I will feel the need to put this up on a dimensional. But because this ribbon is so thin and delicate, I don't think we need to do that. We can use the dimensionals for the items on the top, the ice cream cone, the verse, the things that I want to just kind of pop out. So we'll do it on there. How's that? So this one, we're going to put some dimensionals on. So one of the things that I would have aside when you take your monkey cut kit to go is I would have dimensionals, um, paper snips, adhesive, of course. There we go. Just things that you would normally have and there are room that you can put them right in your kit. Um, glue is, you know, whatever of your choice, the glue of your choice, what you prefer to use. I'm a green glue girl. So now let's put my, my cones together. And what I did is I just put a little bit of glue right in the center of that ice cream scoop. And just put this guy on here. And I'm just kind of centering it from side to side on the scoops. 
there. We're going to use this one. And again, just a little. I guess I'll have to do one. Well, maybe I'll put one in the inside. The ones that we cut that I didn't use. Just like that. And then we'll use dimensionals again. Pop this up here. Just going to go right down the center with dimensionals. There. Okay. I have all these little pieces all over the place. You find those everywhere. <laughs> and this is going to go right here. Right in the center. There we go. Ta-da! These are fun. Really fun. No stamping. I'm just using the, the paper and chopping that out. I think that looks kind of cute. Now, of course, we have to do the inside. So you melt my heart and I'm going to use the same inside so it's matchy matchy. But then I will have a piece of this white cardstock, the basic white, to go inside. And that'll look dramatic on there. So you melt my heart. Let's see, what should we say? Um, we can say, how about if we just say, thank you. Let's do a thank you. Somebody was sweet. Uh, do I have that out already? No. It's right here. I love the fonts on here, that they're a little bit different. Not just plain, like their handwriting. Somebody just wrote it out. Thank you. Let's do another one here. Thank you. I'm going to straighten this out. Put this on. Ta-da! Cat here, no charge. There we go. And then, what do you say we use the one that I loved? Because I really, really like this green one. I love the minty one. And let's just cut another, turn it this way. Let's just cut another, stamp another um, cone base. So cinnamon cider, stamped off. My I'm going to match my punch, so I'm bringing that over here so I can know which way I'm setting it up here. Boy, I almost did it wrong. I even watched it and I almost did it wrong. There we go. Got that a little light. That's okay on the one side. And we're going to put this on it. There we go. Okay. I think I have to cut this point off here. So it fits into the punch and doesn't hit the bottom part. So there we go. Boink. Alrighty. Again, we'll build our cone. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the dot. On the dot. Right in the center. And let's do this one now. And same thing. One little dot of glue. Put my little cone on there. This one, because it's inside, look, I got glue over there. That's not going to be good. Um, we're going to glue this one down. So just making sure I have glue on all the little pieces. Come over here. Hey, maybe I like the Blackberry Bliss because that's the color of my nails this week. I just noticed that. Matchy. It was maybe I was thinking about the ice cream kit. I never know exactly what I'm going to do, but I think that could have been in the back of my mind. I might have been thinking that would be, I don't know. I don't know if that's possible, but I think it could be. I was thinking about these pretty colors because I love that ribbon. I just think it's so pretty. So, yeah, free shipping on $50 orders. Woo-hoo! It doesn't take long to get $50. So that's 10% uh, savings. Because you also normally get taxed on your shipping. So that's a nice little, can be a nice little chunk of change. There we go. Uh, I like that. So here's our card. First card. 
very simple. You melt my heart. One of the punches that were in there did the punch, made the cone. Ta da! All right. Now I have to get away from those colors because look, yeah, because I'm matchy matchy way, way too much. Let's see what else we can come up with and maybe a different layout. So I want to do something with the stripping, strip piecing here. Um, with stripping. Did you hear that? It's not what I meant. I meant strip piecing. There we go. I think it's sort of fun that they have all these little patterns and colors. So we could do something with some of these little shapes. I like the, I'm a polka dot girl. I love the polka dots. Let's pull that out. I'm just going to put everything out here and then we then we can decide what we want to use. I think that. So that light light, I think I need something dark in the middle. Something more of a um, pattern. I did one before that I did sort of a this one is short, but if I have a longer green, I should, I should have one. Let's see what I have here. All these different colors. Let's see. What do I have? So this is kind of like the bottom. Right? Here we go. Here we go. But I think, well, here's this. Oh, I was going to put this in the inside. Instead, I put a cone in. Oh, well. Mm, I don't like that. I would like that if this was different. Maybe I just need to do two of the same. Maybe we should do like this. Oh, see, I said I wasn't going to do that. Oh, I don't like that with that. I said I wasn't going to go back to the Blackberry Bliss since that's what I'm apparently stuck on. <laughs> Here, here's the green. So that went like that, that goes like that. There we go. That's kind of fun, uh, depending on what color you put underneath there. Um, we want the green under there. Or, let's see here. Let's see. Let's experiment, shall we? I have all my little goodies in a row. Let's see. Or maybe I should be using a different cone. So I'm doing something different than the, you know, instead of the same cone. How about this one? That's maybe my, let's take the cones out. Let's put a popsicle in. Oh boy, there you go, that's different. That adds a whole new different dimension. So we could go with maybe the stripe instead of the sprinkles. I do like the polka dots. How about the stripe instead of the sprinkles? I do like having one solid line to kind of base it on here, base here. We did one in class where we cut everything kind of cattywampus with the, took all the strips and then you would cut them and then kind of fit them all together. We could try that too. We could do that too. I kind of like that. And let's put it on, um, Maybe we want to put it, bring in, because that piece has so much of this terracotta. Woo, look at that. Brings it to life. Put it on a little bit of colored cardstock, and it just pops the whole thing. Let's get this out of here for a minute. I like the polka dots. That kind of grounds it both side to side. There. What do you think about that? That's sort of a fun card. I don't think I'm gonna put this in there, but I think we can put like a happy birthday across here. 
and then just cut it out, fussy cut it, and have happy birthday across here. And then the base, I would go with um, the um, old olive. I would go with the old olive because it's pulling the, both of those, and it'll be a nice contrast with the terracotta tile. Here it is. Let's see what you think. Whoopsie Daisy. Stay on board there, Missy. There. What do you think? I know I do I do matchy matchy, I guess. But I like that. I think that looks sweet. Um I would I could use something <clears throat> to anchor it here, but I kinda hate to cover up any of the popsicles. You know, like this one. Put an anchor down here, across, and then have our happy birthday kind of going across there. But I hate to, I don't want to block any of these. They're, that's such a small showing. I think we're going to go with this. Now, for color, we're going to go with terracotta tile, I think, for the verse, for the word. So let's get that. So, you know, this is one of the colors going away, terracotta tile. Um, Rococo rose will be gone soon. Um, purple posy, my favorite seaside spray. Oh, I'm sad about that one. Okay, here's my birthday. Here's a big piece of cardstock here, and we're just going to fussy cut it. Yes, so those are going away. You know, we get our in colors and we get to love them for two years and then they take them away from us. What are they thinking? I don't know. They're thinking, Cheryl Spickle, she'll just fall in love with those other colors we're gonna give her anyhow. And that's true. They do a good job of finding something I'm gonna like. So I'm just gonna kind of stamp this in the middle. I'm leaving a little room on the end to flag it. Ta-da! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I'll leave that out because we'll put something in the middle. And then I'm just going to eyeball it and cut it here. Now we could kind of woo, and maybe we will. We're going to do that woo-woo thing. I'm going to cut around this because I want more of my um, paper to show. So I'm just going to fussy cut it and kind of go around and see how that looks. I'm just giving it a little bit of a border. There we go. I got it a little close on that corner, sorry. Okay. Ta-da! Happy birthday! And we are going to have to put something behind there because it kind of gets lost in the shuffle. So I think we'll go with the this one, with the old olive strip. Remember I had that out in the beginning. And I said no, and then I said yes. Let's just see how that looks here. We'll pull this off. We'll put this on here. shows part way and let's see here we're gonna put it like right on here in the middle right down there I like that that's kind of fun that's kind of fun let's do that okay I'm gonna start gluing on so once I start gluing on I kind of get the layout that I like with pick up all the pieces and I start end to end usually trying to get the same border, and then I kind of work my way to the center. So that's what we're doing right now. Put some adhesive on, and I'm just kind of checking my two sides here. Get out of there, move this over. Gives me a little wiggle room when I use my 
I'm going to turn this around and get this one to glue down. When I use my wonderful green glue, I'm a big fan. Move over just a smidgen. Come on, popsicles. Work with me here. Work with me here. There we go. Okay. Ta-da, ta-da. So when you get your kit, see what you do with it. You could go in and, um, my, I'm a big fan of looking at layouts, right? Um, sketches, you, whatever you want to call them. Sketches, layouts. I like to look at things with no color. I like the black and white so that I don't get a color or a pattern shape stuck in my head. I can just, you know, do whatever I think looks good um, with those colors. They'll just have shades so, you know, if something, you know, they suggest something light or dark. Um, sometimes I start out with one and it looks nothing like that when I finish. But at least it gets my brain going. It gets me started. So I like that idea. So I'm going to just run this here. A little bit of green glue on here. Try to center this best I can. And then I'll flag the ends. There we go. Move it over this way just a little. There we go. Okay. I'm going to flag it and then so cutting right down the center and then from the corner up to the cut center there. We have some punches that'll do this too. But if I'm just on the sly here and going what we can do with just what we have on hand. And of course, we're gonna pop that up. If I can find where I put my dimensionals. Oh, here they are. Okay, I have it. Um, maybe on Friday, we will do a, um, I will come back on Friday and we will do a shaker card, okay? So we'll use our sprinkles on here. Kind of spread that out wonky. There we go. So we'll do a shaker card on Friday. Tune in for that. It will be fun. There. Ta-da. This is a nice, just really simple card. So I like the green. I don't know that I would back it with anything else, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Here's a... Here is Bermuda Bay. And actually that's not bad because you have the stripe in here and you have this guy over here. But I still like the green the better. I'm matchy matchy. I'm bad. I'm bad about that. I like to match up patterns. I like to... Um, my background is in quilting so um, years ago I did a lot of quilting. And I think that's what I look at a lot. When we were quilting, we would pick out fabric, and then you would look at the fabric uh, through a red um, uh, plastic piece, and you could look at that, and you could see the tones of the fabric. What's going to pop out and what's not when you're doing um, quilts that are um, like mosaics, and you, you can kind of see where the pattern is, and I think... Um, that's part of what I kind of tend to do is go with those patterns and watch that. So here is the terracotta again. And I'm going to put this in. Um, should we put something inside here? A nice little piece of cardstock or a designer paper here that would match. Oh, somebody's here for class already. They're early. We're going to do this one. And I'm going to move it up a little like that. Yeah, we're going to put it down. Okay, we're going to put that in. Even though it doesn't match with the front, but it kind of matches with the shape. I like that. So we're going to say happy birthday and um, what's the other verse here? 
treat yourself and hope it's sweet. How's that? Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. Hi there. <laughs> I'm almost done. I got carried away and started doing extra. Here, happy birthday. Well, we'll put with sprinkles on top. Come on in. <laughs> it's okay. Camera's down. <laughs> I talk to myself a lot, <laughs> but today I happen to be talking to all my friends that are out there watching. <laughs> there we go. Happy birthday with sprinkles on top. Ta-da! All right, let's put it together, glue it down, and away we go. We have class this afternoon. We have my kismet class, so we're doing four different cards. Fun. I had class this morning, and now we have class this afternoon. There. That just looks nice with uh, um, some designer paper in the inside, too. Little little something-something. There we go. There. Okay. Ta-da, ta-da. All right. Whoopsie. Taking everything with me. All right. Here we go. Glue it down, and we are done. Two cards. Lickety-split. So on Friday we'll do a um, we will do a shaker card, and I think we're going to do one of those cattywampus cards where, I, where you cut it all kinds of different shapes because that's sort of fun too and it's fast. So here's our cards for today. Ta-da! Using our ice cream corner monkey cut kit. If you want one, you can go to stampingjourney.com and let me know. Thank you so much, and don't forget today uh, for Stampin' Up! product um, out of the catalog, free shipping. So we're excited about that. Alrighty, I'm going to turn the camera around. Here we go. Ta-da! Oh, hello, Chris. Oh, yeah. I, Chris, I can't stop at one card. There's the ladies working hard. I can't stop at one card. It's really bad. So... All right, yeah, and I couldn't cover the popsicles. That would have been a shame. I would eat the popsicles and, and cover them that way. All right, that's it. We're going to go. I'm going to go to class. You guys have a great day. I will see you on Friday for follow-up Friday. We'll make a shaker card and a cattywampus fun card. So talk to you later. Bye.